Hey, what's up guys? I want to make a quick video for you guys because this one was really such such a nice find, to be quite honest with you. Uh, symptoms, obviously, a uh, 5.4 liter three valve started having a leak, right? Coolant leak. Um, the reservoir itself started noticing the fluid level was actually down on that. Came back in here, started diagnosing it, actually pressurized the coolant system. Sure enough, the gasket under this side. Um, it's something that everybody talks about on the internet. It seems to be a, a pretty uh, predominant issue. It happens quite a bit. And of course, it's just this one little gasket that sits under here. And in fact, if I show you what this one looked like, it has a crack right there, right? And that's what was causing this thing to leak. The telltale sign of this is it runs along the head, drips down the back side of the block, and obviously starts dripping right back there. It's uh, essentially right where the flex plate or where the torque converter is. Sometimes it'll drip on the catalytic converter. I could smell it. I'm like, oh, what's going on? Um, figured it out right away by just simply pressurizing the system, and I saw the water running uh, right along the back side of the head here. Of course, you can even see it from this side as well. That was kind of a nice little ability to, to figure that out. So so I start surfing around. I'm like, hey, I need to just simply replace a couple of gaskets in here. It's not a big deal. I can climb in there and do this. Turns out that the way Ford designed this dang thing is you have to get in here and, and undo this bolt, but it sits underneath the manifold, as you can see there. So everybody says, well, I got to get in here and remove this manifold, which of course requires replacing all the gaskets. And Felpro makes a great kit. In fact, I even bought this kit. I'm going to use some of those components today. But here's what I figured out that was so good that I wanted to share this with you guys. Without removing the manifold, it is possible to remove these. You're, some of you may like this, some of you may not, but it's something that I definitely wanted to share with you guys. It turns out when you try to slip this guy out of here, it ends up hitting right here. Oh, trying to find it. There you go. Right here on the head. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Uh, right here on the head is where this thing hits. Now, you may say, hey, this one looks a little bit different than mine. Yours will look, actually be a 90-degree casting in the head. That 90-degree casting is nothing more than just a flange under here. So I said, oh, man, I'm trying to slide this thing out. It's so darn close. If I could remove an eighth of an inch, I could probably get this thing to slide out. Well, guess what? You know, here, come, here comes my file, right? I went in here and I just started filing that guy. Could just barely get enough room in there, but there is enough room. If you actually get it loose, you can actually push this guy back a bit and actually make a little bit of room. You end up just kind of filing away just a tiny bit of that little overcasting, that 90 degree part. What does that do? Well, that makes it to where now when you go to slide this guy forward, it will actually come out. I was so amazed. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so close to this. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. I've actually put this in here a couple of times, but I wanted to, let's see if I can make this a little better, uh, make it to where I can show you what I'm talking about. So as you pull this guy forward here, you're going to want to scoot it kind of to the right as well. You'll see, hopefully you guys can see that. I'll get a light down there. Uh, see how close that is, how it's actually right up against that part, that little bit of a casting piece that I that I filed off. Well, if you get it down in there just right, just enough, right? I just got past that little bit. Well, sure enough, now it has cleared that area, which of course means this whole thing can now be removed without damaging that little flange, without having to remove the entire manifold. Sure enough, there's this guy. I'm going to swap it out of there. I'm going to push the other one back in there and essentially just slide it in there, although this one looks pretty good to begin with. But I thought this was such a great trick that I had to show you guys because, oh my gosh, I was really dreading having to remove this intake manifold. And I thought, oh boy, this is going to add three or four hours to this. Um, turns out you don't have to. Here's the simple, easy way to do it. And here's that, that piece I was showing you here, just to kind of give you an idea here. There's actually quite a bit even still under here. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's just a little bit that kind of hangs over the edge there. It's nowhere near the surface. I've already cleaned it off and whatnot, but the gasket actually stays well within this area. I could probably take another good grief, another eighth inch off of it or whatever, but you'll see what I'm talking about when you get in there. It, it doesn't serve any purpose. It just comes straight out. It, it's essentially just a little overhang piece that you just have to remove it just so that thing can slide out. Um, and I discovered that, of course, when I started pulling this guy out, but wanted to share that with you guys. I figured this would save you a lot of time. All right. Good luck, guys.